Welcome back to Sedu Setsavi Tutorials. In this lecture, we'll be talking about the classification of local anesthetics uh, based on their connecting board. So before coming to the classification, let's understand about uh, the, chemist, the basic structure of a local anesthetic. So basically, there are three parts for a local anesthetic. There will be lipophilic group, that is the first part. There will be hydrophilic group, that is the second part. And uh, this lipophilic group and the hydrophilic group will be connected by the third part, which will be a bond, intermediate bond. Okay. Now, this lipophilic groups will be normally an aromatic residue, aromatic function groups. Okay. And whereas the hydrophilic group will be mainly amine, amine groups, okay, which could be either a secondary amine or a tertiary amine. All right. So three parts, lipophilic group, hydrophilic group, and the connecting bond. Now, this connecting bone could be either RCO or R dash group, which is an ester functional group. The connecting bone could be RCO NH group, which is an amide functional group. Okay, so based on the connecting bone, we can classify local anesthetic into either ester local anesthetic or amide local anesthetics. Now coming to the examples of drugs uh, belonging to each category of local anesthetics. Before that, remember one thing, the name of local anesthetics end with the suffix cane, C-A-I-N-E. All the local anesthetic, the name of local anesthetic ends with the C-A-I-N-E, cane. Okay. Now the examples of ester local anesthetics are cocaine, procaine, chlorprocaine, tetracaine. Tetrakine is also called as amitokine. And another example is benzokine. So all these drugs belonging, uh, belongs to this ester local anesthetic category. Now coming to the amide local anesthetic drugs, examples are lignocaine, which is also called as lidocaine, prilocaine, bupaivacaine, dibucaine, mepaivacaine, etidocaine, ropaivacaine, articaine. All these drugs belongs to amide local anesthetic category. Now, how to remember which drug belong to which category? I would tell a shortcut to remember that if there is only one I in, if there is only one I in the name of the drug, it is an ester local anesthetic. You can see here, cocaine contains only one I, procaine, one I, chlorprocaine, only one I, tetracaine, one I, benzocaine, only one I. So if there is only one I in the name, this would belong to an ester local anesthetic category. However, if there are two I's in the name of the drug, two I's, that would belong to amide local anesthetic category. For example, lignocaine, there are two I. The other name is lidocaine, here also two I is there. Prilocaine, two I. Bupaivacaine, two I. Dibucaine, two I is there. Mepaivacaine, two I. Etidocaine, two I is there. Ropaivacaine, two I. Articaine, two I. So in short, if there is only one I is present, that belongs to ester local anesthetic category. And if there are two I, it belongs to amide local anesthetic category. You can, um, you can remember that from this name. Anyway, amide has one extra I, whereas ester doesn't have an I. That extra I is coming here, okay? So remember like that. Now, there may be a question whether silocaine is a local anesthetic. Okay, the silocaine, this is a local anesthetic. Whether this belongs to ester local anesthetic or amide local anesthetic. Definitely, as per this uh, mnemonics, you would tell that this is ester local anesthetic. However, this is an amide local anesthetic because the silocaine is the brand name of lignocaine. So, remember this one I, ester local anesthetic, two I, amide local anesthetic, except silocaine. Silocaine has only one I. However, it is an amide local anesthetic because it, it is a brand name of lignocaine. All right. So this is, a, uh, this is the cl complete classification of uh, local anesthetic based on their connecting bone. Hope you really understood this uh, class. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel uh, for more videos. Thank you.